For many years, Logic's EXS24 sampler, a little sampler that could, provided Logic users with all their sampling needs, including serving as the engine under the hood for some of Logic's more advanced sample-based instruments, like drum kit designer and the studio strings and horns. Along the way, additional advanced features were quietly added, often hidden away in EXS's instrument editor window. But the front panel remained unchanged, growing more dated over time, and the need to bounce between multiple windows for programming, mapping, and sample editing made the process of creating sampled sounds less than straightforward. With the release of Logic 10.5, that all changed. EXS is gone, at least in name, replaced by the new Sampler plugin. Actually, Sampler is EXS, reskinned with a new look, a much more intuitive and efficient layout, and many new features. But despite this major makeover, Sampler retains full backward compatibility with all existing EXS instruments and presets, so nothing is lost. Sampler puts all controls, programming, mapping, and sample editing, into the new front panel, no more bouncing between different windows, and the editable mapping and sample edit displays make short work of what were previously the more tedious aspects of instrument creation and sound design. Possibly the best new feature is the extensive implementation of drag and drop sample import, mapping, and setup. Samples can be dragged into the plugin, and Sampler's new algorithms can analyze, auto map, and even auto loop them setting up key zones and velocity zones in the blink of an eye. And this capability goes even further. Dragging a collection of samples into an empty track header offers options to choose a sampler-based instrument and select the type of mapping desired. Logic then instantiates the chosen plugin and maps the samples, presenting the user with a ready-to-play instrument requiring only musical tweaks to the standard subtractive synthesis parameters, like filters, envelopes, and LFOs. But Sampler is not the only Logic instrument that incorporates these capabilities. For sound creation that doesn't require multi-sampling, Quick Sampler, Sampler's new little brother, brings most of Sampler's tools to the creation of patches that utilize only a single sample. It's ideal for working with loops and for creative sound design. Quick Sampler is also utilized in the reimagined drum machine designer. With all these changes, even experienced EXS users may need a little help getting used to the new world of sampling and logic, and that's where this course comes in. After a little background on the theory and process of creating sample-based instruments and sounds, the course will start with the basic organization of sampler, including the new front panel layout, preferences related to RAM and disk handling, and changes in sampler's file organization. Then we'll dig into the process of importing and mapping samples, including the advanced drag-and-drop capabilities, as well as the various manual options for customizing the layout of key zones and groups. There'll be a thorough run-through of the subtractive synthesis parameters, including Sampler's new dual filters, and the enhanced modulation section, which provides for multiple LFOs and envelope generators, with many new and welcome options over and above EXS's simple ADSRs. We'll also take a look at the synth section's details panel where many advanced features are found, and the redesigned matrix modulation panel, which allows for flexible modulation routings. The course will even make a brief foray into the zone and group panels, where many of Sampler's more advanced features, like round-robin triggering and exclusive groups, reside. The course also covers Quick Sampler, including its subset of sampler features and applications for which it's especially well-suited, like creative loop triggering and sound design, as well as its use in the reimagined version of Drum Machine Designer. In fact, since Drum Machine Designer makes use of Quick Sampler, we'll include it in this roundup of Logic sampling tools. Finally, we'll take a look at Auto Sampler, a new plugin designed to assist in the creation of multi sampled instruments when resampling other instruments, ideal for those who might want to capture the sounds of favorite hardware or software instruments and bring them into Sampler as software patches. But before we jump into the nuts and bolts of sampler and sampling in Logic, the next video will offer a little background on the basic concepts of working with sample-based instruments.